Hello, I'm Daniel with Sanwa, and I'm here to train you on how to use our TXV merchandiser. As you can see from the headers up here, the left half of this merchandiser covers refrigeration, and the right half is for residential AC. Between these two applications, this merchandiser will cover over 95% of the TXV demand that you'll see out there. For refrigeration TXVs, there's three simple steps for valve selection. You select your capacity cartridge, then you select your valve body, based on the fitting configuration and the system refrigerant. And if you have sweat fittings, you select an inlet adapter. Step one, choose capacity cartridge. There's capacity tables on the front of each of these cartridge sizes that you can read to determine which size is right for you. You can see the R22 and the 407 refrigerants are listed here in green. 404 and 507 are in the reddish orange and 134A in the light blue. These list both by tonnage and by the balanced port size. So look at each of these, to determine which size is right for you, and then reach in and pull out the proper cartridge for your application. Step two, choose valve body style. As you can see, there's two options for flared fittings, internal and external equalizer quarter inch by three eighths inch sweat fittings, there's internal and external equalizer, and then three eighths by half inch sweat fittings, internal and external equalizer. Pick the one that fits your system, and then we'll move straight down to select the proper system refrigerant. Let's say, for example, you have a three eighths by half inch sweat with internal equalizer. Follow this column straight down until you reach the system refrigerant that matches your application. So if you have 134A in that configuration, then you'll reach in here and you'll pull out the valve that you need. Once you've found the valve that you need, move on to step three by following this column straight down from where you were to choose the adapter for your sweat inlet fitting. Here, there's no inlet fitting required because these two columns are for the flare fittings. If you're replacing a TXV with a straight through configuration, a side outlet, a side inlet, you'll notice that our universal TXVs are in an angled configuration, bottom inlet, side outlet. We have an adapter for this situation. When you thread this together, you now have a side inlet and side outlet for a drop-in replacement. For other unique applications, we have a guide on the side of our merchandiser that will show you how much you'll need to move your tubing in the system to fit our universal TXV. To select a TXV for residential air conditioning, you'll use this half of the merchandiser. All of the R22 TXVs are in one column, and then all of the 410A TXVs are in another column. Up here are just the capacity tables, and then the capacity is also listed, a different one on each shelf, four different capacities in total. So you'll pull out the one that you need, and take the valve from there. This concludes our training for the Universal TXV Merchandiser. Note that there's no need for reading books or pamphlets on this. The process is simple enough that this video alone has completely covered the training. My name is Daniel and thank you for choosing Sanwa.